All right, I'm out here working on the car this morning, and I think I've got my front and rear basically set where it needs to go. I started off by measuring from the inside of my frame rail to the outside edge on both sides to make sure that I had the same measurement so that my, my spindle was perfectly uh, perpendicular to my frame rail, meaning it just sticks straight out. After I did that, uh, I dropped a plumb bob right off the center of there, measured the distance from the center of the axle all the way back here. I put a mark on my frame jig of 110 inches for the wheelbase of the car. And then I built this pretty nifty little system to get the uh, the rear end where it's supposed to go. So it's really nothing more than a couple pieces of square tubing with some threaded rod here. You have a nut on the bottom and the top, which allows you to slide the thing forward rearward as well as adjust the height. The interesting thing about what I did here was that heights gave me this this piece here as part of the rear end and you can see that it's got this great big elongated hole in the back side uh, and that's just part of their design well i had my two uh, square tubing pieces here where i built bracketry with bolts that come off of it and go through there that way i could loosen those nuts if i wanted to and shift the rear end left or right in order to make sure that it was perfectly centered up with the car um, so that's how I address that. I started off by leveling the center chunk. Once I got the center chunk leveled, I leveled my left and my right control arm. And then from there, I took some pieces of square tubing again, clamped them to the inside of my frame rails and proceeded to measure the distance from the face of the differential to the inside of this piece of steel. That way I got everything perfectly centered left to right. Um, from there, I basically just um, started measuring the distance from the top of the frame rail up to the center line of the, uh, the rear axle here in order to get the vertical spacing of the car in the rear to equal that up there in the front. So, uh, did you follow all of that? Um, pretty technical. Um, from there, uh, once I got the thing placed properly, I ran tape measurers, two tape measurers that go to the front of the car. There's nobody here to hold them. So I used clamps to hold them in place to measure the distance from my front clip going to the back of the car. You can see right there. So when I pull them tight, uh, I, was, I, I, I was really surprised. I was accurate to within a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, when I measured it, so there was just a slight tweaking, you know, to, to shift the differential. And, you know, the, the beauty of this IRS kit is suppose that I get the thing off by an eighth of an inch or something like that. You have all this adjustability in these ends to where you could bring the rear end out a little bit. You could take your, your rear end and kind of shift it forward or rearward just a smidgen in order to get everything lined up. But to be honest with you, I think I've got it lined up uh, correctly, just like it is. I did come in here and I built adjustable links using these, uh, you know, basically like a long threaded nut. I think they call it a coupling nut. Used uh, some threaded rod, just welded a couple of ends onto it here. That way I could just make little adjustments at a time to get that thing perfectly level. Did the same thing up here in the front of the car, just basically using, you know, spare spare parts that uh, from around the shop I don't need for anything to build little links in order to make my control arms perfectly level, which is what it's supposed to be when the springs are in the car and loaded. So, pretty technical video update uh, this weekend of Project Redline. If y'all want to see me build this thing in action, uh, click subscribe. Y'all have a good weekend. Take care.